a school is Salesiano Los Boscos, and it is in the city center of Logroño, in the north of Spain. It was founded in 1941 on the initiative of Maria Teresa Gil de Garo. There are 670 students and 70 teachers in the different levels that we offer. Preschool, primary, secondary, and different levels of vocational training. Personally speaking, there are many courses provided by the regional government for us to improve our teaching and hold our skills in order to do our best with our students. Teachers choose courses depending on their likes and they can be online or in person. And to be honest, we never stop learning. The regional government offers a wide range of courses for teachers, which I sometimes can attend. However, my main source of learning is participating in European projects, such as Erasmus Plus or Etwinning. These kind of projects give me the opportunity to work with teachers of different schools from different countries, while at the same time getting to know other ways of working and other ways of teaching. In any case, to be honest, I must admit I prefer face-to-face -face learning instead of online formation. The more I learn, the better for my students. And if the training is online, well, much better. Training is an essential part of our job, but at the same time it is hard to accomplish because of all the amount of work we have to do in the school. Maybe the difficulty is when a person wants to access in the digital platform. My main problem has been learning with a screen, but at the same time, it has been a new experience and a possibility to open my mind. The main problem is related to the digital platform because of the large amount of information that it provides and it may be unclear. I prefer face-to-face -face courses, I prefer paper and pen. Well, actually, I can see any problem with it since I love new technologies and I like attending online courses. New generations of children are growing up surrounded by new technologies. As teachers, we must be prepared in these matters. It allows me to organize my time and learn depending on my own pace. And fortunately, we work with many state-of-the-art resources and this is an advantage for us. From my point of view, online courses are essential to get a good idea of a particular topic that will be used in class with your own students. We work in the area of education within the regional government of La Rioja. Our office is called the Teacher Professional Development Center and one of our main activities is therefore the training of teachers. In order to attend the different training needs of the teacher in our region, we offer different activities such as courses, innovation projects, or school year programs related to foreign languages, science, literacy, and so on. If we narrow down to courses, we offer two modalities, online courses and offline courses, where teachers need to attend the training. The fact that our system issues a certificate when a teacher finishes a course serves our professionals as an incentive. In the case of online courses, what we often find is a high number of teachers who sign in. It is usually the opposite when concerning in-person courses. Not many teachers sign in due to space and time restrictions. In both modalities, around 80% of teachers get their certificate. In the last school year, we launched 115 courses and only 10 of them were online. The main obstacle that we find when designing new courses is generally teachers' availability. We find that the best way to fight this handicap is online training, which provides us with flexibility in terms of time and space, and also allows us to train a greater number of teachers. Our intention, therefore, is to increase this kind of training in the incoming years.